guys andrew here welcome back to drew tutorial and in this video i'm going to show you how to create a timeline in google docs so we're going to start with a blank document here in google docs and in order to do this guys you need to use the blank canvas so you need to go to insert and here you want to go to drawing and then click on new and this is going to give you a new drawing canvas which is blank and you'll have the tools here to easily create your timeline now i'm going to walk you through the basics here so here you have the option that says line you want to click on line and here you can go ahead and you can choose from the lines whichever option you want i suggest you use the arrow right so go ahead and click an arrow and then you want to draw a horizontal line where you want to have the base for your timeline right so you want to ensure that this is straight as well so go ahead and ensure that it's straight how you ensure that it's straight is that if you look towards the left hand side where i have the four once the line is not straight you will realize that there are three lines that are further apart you want to ensure that this line on the left hand side is even or let's say it's a single line and here you can see right now that this is single now you want to let that go now if you look towards the end of these lines you realize there is only one arrow you can always go ahead and fix that easy way to do that is to click on the line start and you have the options here you can go ahead and you can change that so i'm going to put the arrow there as well and here is my line now you can always go ahead and you can increase the weight of the line to whatever you want so i can put this to four and this is going to make the line become thicker you also can change the color of the line as well so you can go ahead and you can choose whatever you want so I'm going to give it a different color here. So let's just give it this color here. So it's not black, right? Now, what you want to do, you want to go ahead and start making those columns. So I'm going to go ahead and click the drop down here. And I'm going to choose, for example, the first option that says line. And here I'm going to go ahead and start making those lines. So here you want to go upwards now and start making those lines. And again, you want to change how these lines look. So as you can see here, it is showing an arrow, but I can always go ahead and I can change that as well. So where I have the line in on the line start, I can totally go ahead and change this. So at this option here, you can see the line in. I'm going to go ahead and click the first option here so the line looks just like that. And the line in. I'm going to make it something like this so it looks something like that as i said it's really up to you what you want it to look like it's really up to you so i'm going to make these options here and you can go ahead and you can start making additional lines as you wish so you go up when you position these lines and you can always come back again and make those adjustments later another way is to simply go ahead and click on the select tool and this is going to allow you to select those lines and move them wherever you want. I also want to suggest that an easy way to do this is to go ahead and just make one line and just use the select tool and just select that particular line. And you can press a control C, click elsewhere, press a control V, and you will see that it makes the another line for you. And this way you can ensure that all of your lines are on the same level. It's by simple pressing a control C and a control V and make those lines even. So I'm going to just go ahead and make a few more lines here, but I'm sure you get the general idea of what I'm doing. Now, once you're finished making your lines, guys, it's time to add data. And this is going to allow you to add whatever you want. So if you want to add numbers or you want to add words, it's really up to you. But you want to go ahead and use the text box. And below, you want to go ahead and draw those text box wherever you want. So I'm going to simply use the text box here and I'm going to add, for example, numbers. So if I want to add numbers, I can start with saying, for example, zero, right? And I can go ahead and I can style it whatever I want. I can make it bold. I can make it larger. It's really up to me. And then I can easily go ahead and position these. So to position them, you just need to find where it is. And position it i also want to mention to you if you're working with numbers or text you want to go ahead and ensure that this is center so it's right underneath your line as you can see once you go ahead and make a text box you can hover over it and you can move it and there's going to be a line that allows you to snap it right in you can always go ahead and copy those text boxes just the same as you do for the lines and just simply move them underneath as you can see here I move this one and it fits right into place. So I'm going to adjust this right in line and I'm going to change this from zero to one and I'm going to continue to do the rest. And so you will see once I'm finished with this. So give me a moment. 
but it's a very it's a very easy task to do guys and i hope you will be able to do the same and easily make your text box now as you can see here guys i've went ahead and add a couple more numbers and i'm finished with my timeline this is very easy to do and i guarantee you if you follow the steps by starting with your basics create one line and then copy each line by pressing ctrl c and ctrl v you can easily go ahead and move those lines or numbers on your timeline and this is very easy and that way you can ensure that everything is on the same level and they're even because once you go ahead and move those objects whether it's your word or your lines you'll be able to adjust them because of how easy it is to align things within this canvas here and once you're finished guys creating your timeline all you have to do is just simply go ahead and click and save and close and this will automatically be added right onto your google docs here you have it guys i really hope you found value within this video and if you do don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when i release future videos just like this one thank you guys for watching and see you next time